Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And to the members, I will be very brief, specific to this amendment. I also want to thank Representative Miller. We've had some great conversations on this. Matter of fact, right before we started, just a matter of differing opinions. I personally believe that this amendment will be a little bit redundant in what we're already trying to do in this legislation. In addition to it, maybe draw out a process that has been drawled out for decades for many adoptees. Very specifically, I want to remind the members that this bill has passed this chamber unanimously, unanimously pardon me, in prior sessions through many of your great votes. And that was prior to us putting a very important amendment to it at many of your requests. Not an amendment I would have specifically liked, but one I was willing to compromise on. In addition to birth parents, should they still be alive, because keeping in mind, out of the 90,000 original birth certificate adoptees like myself, many of our parents are deceased. But for those that are still alive, they have two options of amendments that we put in there. One, they can have a no contact preference put on their birth certificate. In addition to that, we put one on that allows them to redact their name off the birth certificate should they not want to be contacted or be fearful that the no contact won't work. We believe that that is, covers many issues that have been raised by many of the entities out there who have uh, raised them, as well as many of you. And last, I would say, this bill is not about trying to help people connect their families. The internet has done that in leaps and bounds beyond people's imagination. This is about a fundamental right to allow all citizens born in the state of Pennsylvania, whether you live in California or you live here, to have the same right that most of you have, to pay $20 and get a copy of the original birth certificate, the one legal document that justifies who you are and legitimizes your existence here on the earth, the same document that you and I as government officials require people to provide. Please join me in restoring the rights that people had prior to 1984 they did not have to go through this convoluted process that many of these initiatives are trying to require, and they were able to access it. This bill specifically asks you to vote in fairness for all Pennsylvania adoptees, and I um, reluctantly ask you to vote against Representative Miller's amendment, as I believe it'll drag the process on, and we have tried to make compromises to address those issues. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the members for their attention.